Hi, I'm going to show you how to create a Windows image for Rancher VM. Um, so uh, to cr uh, the most important thing to make sure is you use the right vert I.O. driver when you create that image. I mean, Windows will work without vert I.O. driver, but the performance would be greatly uh, reduced. Uh, to find the vert I.O. driver, you just type uh, Windows vert I.O. driver uh, into the search engine and uh, usually the very first result that pops up is um, will lead you to uh, the Vert I.O. driver that the wonderful people at Fedora Project put out and uh, uh, they're you know, uh, available for download so download the ISO file and, and save it in the local directory. Of course you would also need uh, the Windows install disk and, and, and for this video I'm going to use Windows 8.1. The experience for Windows 7 and Windows Server are very similar. So to uh, create the uh, Windows uh, image, I'm going to use this uh, uh, very simple uh, virtualization management tool for Linux called Vert Manager. And I'm going to start by uh, creating the virtual machine and I'll call it Windows 8. Uh, I'm going to select install from local ISO and I'm going to select the, um, the um, Windows 8.1 install disk and now I move forward the CPU and memory selection look okay. Uh, I'm going to create a disk image for uh, for the hard drive and uh, what you want to make sure is uh, uh, especially for Windows, you select a reasonably large size uh, uh, drive because we can make sure this drive is, um, is, 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 is thin provisioned. It's not really going to consume all that space. So uh, the, you know, I would select at least uh, 64 if not more. I want to uncheck allocate the entire disk now so the disk space will be allocated on demand. And I uh, click forward. So I've got, um, uh, it actually says ready to uh, 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 start the install. Uh, and uh, I want to uh, click this checkbox because I, uh, you know, I want to make a few other changes to the network selection and add a second CD-ROM drive for the Vert I.O. driver. So now if I click finish, it'll actually bring up uh, a customization squ screen. And um, so I want to first change the uh, the network setting. It says instead of hypervisor default, I change it to uh, Vert.io and I click apply. Uh, then uh, and this is the disk we selected before. Uh, we want to actually uh, look at the uh, options for the disk and change again from default to Vert.io. The um, so that would uh, uh, you know that that would give us better performance, and that's that's actually the disk type that matches the driver we're going to install in Windows. I'm also going to change the boot options to uh, 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 to make sure the CD-ROM is enabled. Otherwise, it would not be able to boot from the CD-ROM. So, so the last step I want to do before I can actually start booting is to add the uh, uh, add another uh, CD-ROM for for uh, uh, for the Word I/O driver. So I'm gonna uh, select and browse to the to the Word I/O ISO file, and I select the device type to be IDE CD-ROM, and uh, you don't really need to because it doesn't really matter. It's it's ISO, so I don't really need to select anything else. And now I'm done. Uh, so I've, uh, I've, I've selected uh, an extra CD-ROM and uh, the, uh, uh, the Vert I.O. disk and, and the NIC. So I'm, I'm ready to go. Um, the, uh, it says the virtual machine is being created and look, the Windows uh, is, uh, is going to boot up. So if you continue with the Windows installation, at some point you'll get to the screen and you'll find that... Uh, it doesn't really list any disks that you can install Windows to. And, and that's why we need to select um, the uh, 
load driver option from here and then select browse uh, select the uh, uh, the second CD-ROM that uh, we were we we've actually uh, inserted during the setup, and then this is the the uh, the Verdio driver that we downloaded from Fedora. Uh, since we're installing Windows 8, uh, we go under Windows 8 and 64-bit. Uh, select. Uh, 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 that path and we actually see three drivers one is the network driver the other is the storage driver and the third one is the balloon driver and the right thing to do here is just to select all of them um, uh, we we so you don't have to we don't have to worry about it later anymore all these three drivers are useful uh, to, to get Windows run pop properly uh, inside KVM so um, uh, now we're gonna click next and the installation will continue Now I've uh, uh, finished installing, preparing, and shutting down Windows. I'm going to show you how to compress the uh, resulting disk image uh, and to make it ready for Rancher VM. So Word Manager saves the image in a, a, a directory that cannot be read by um, ordinary users, and so I just made myself the root user and I can get into var lib libvert images. Uh, you see this is where the image was saved. Now I can do q qmu image convert dash o output format qcal2 dash c is uh, uh, compress uh, Windows 8. Image and I compress it to say Windows 8.gz. Img. And this compression process is going to take a while depending on the size of the image. Windows images tend to be very large, so it's going to take a long time. Now the conversion is finished. Uh, we can see the uh, uh, the original uh, Windows 8. Image file is uh, uh, even though it's, it's sort of virtual size is 64 gig. The actual size, which is listed on in the in the first column, is about 8.2 gigabytes, and uh, uh, the compressed image is uh, is, is about 3. 9 gigabytes so it's, a, it's it's less than half the size because it's a Windows image it's, uh, it's still quite large um, and now you can take this image and uh, uh, package it as the base image in uh, in a docker container um, so this concludes our introduction for how to build Windows images for uh, Rancher VM uh, thank you very much